Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a yard sale haul. Um, I'm pretty sure most of this stuff is all yard sale. There might be just one or two things from an auction in here, but for the most part yard sale stuff. So I'm going to get straight into it. The first things that I'm going to share with you are those left in Miss Pris kitty pieces that Eric and I found at a yard sale. He technically found them first because I didn't make it around to the table he started at. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have found them first. Um, but I was just kind of blown away by by this like they had a couple pieces sitting on the table and then the rest was all still like wrapped up in a box and I didn't see the price on it and um I was looking at it and the lady's like oh there's a whole set there and I was thinking she was gonna say like at least fifty dollars or more like i was not expecting her to say oh the whole set it's just three dollars i was like what that is less than a dollar a piece for these oh my gosh just score of the year i'd say um so the left in the miss Pris kitty uh, definitely a harder to find left in piece, very highly collectible. And these pieces were in very good condition, very minimal, any issues, absolutely gorgeous. So let's just get into it. So the first piece I have are the salt and pepper shakers. So these are what they look like. They're little blue, like anthropomorphic looking kitty cats. And some of them do still have their left in stickers on them. So these ones still do have their stickers as well as their stoppers. So the salt and pepper shakers I listed for a buy it now of $54.99. So the next set is the sugar and creamer that look like this. This I actually already sold. So after this video, I have to get these packaged up. So this is the creamer and this one doesn't have its sticker anymore um, and then this is this is the sugar bowl so it still has its lid and this one does have its sticker. So this set I listed as a buy it now for $79.99 and like I said it already sold. There were I want to say four or five of the mugs. And out of all of these pieces, I feel like, well, I actually have another kind of rare piece in here that we're going to get to, but the mugs are actually also kind of rare. So this here is what the mug looks like. This one does have a tiny chip here on the back of the base. Um, I didn't list these together. Like I didn't list the mugs together. If this doesn't sell within the next couple of weeks I may take it down and just lot up all of the mugs. Um, one of the problems with getting collections like these is trying to decide whether to list things separately or list things as a collection because I mean obviously you're gonna have people who are looking to start a collection but then you're gonna have people who need to just find one piece for their collection or replace a piece from their collection. So it's one of those things where it's hard to kind of determine how you want to list things. So the mug individually, I listed this as a buy it now for $99.99. Um, there isn't many listed. Someone has a lot of two of them listed for 200 some dollars with like 30 some watchers. So I feel like if I do end up lotting the rest of mine together, um, I think that it will probably go. This was probably the most rare, rarest piece in, in the box. And this one is like a divided tray, like a little candy or nut, nut dish basically. And this one does still have its sticker in beautiful condition. There's none of these currently listed. There's only one that actually has three dividers and they have theirs listed I think close to $400. So I listed mine on auction with a starting price of $159.99. That's what I'd like to get for it, but um, we'll see. So really cute. And like I said, hard to find that one. And then the last piece that was in the box was the teapot. And this one is the four cup teapot. I think they also had a six cup teapot that would have been a little larger than this one. Uh, but very, very cute. And the teapot, 
I put up as a buy it now for $169.99. So, oh my gosh, the profit on this set, I paid three bucks for all of it. Oh my goodness, insane. Okay, at another yard sale, I got, I like picking these up. Um, this is a Boyd's Bears treasure box. Some of these can sell really well, it just depends depends on the, the trinket box. So this one was a little jack-o'-lantern and he comes with all of his, his goodies. There's like a little um, candy corn piece in there and then the little figure. So he is complete with his original box and all of that goodness. Um, I paid $5 for the trinket box and I listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. I also had gotten another one which I didn't list yet because I already have the same one currently listed, but it is a harder to find one. So um, I didn't list that one yet. At the same yard sale, and I don't know if you guys noticed this at all in the video, there was like a table that had some jewelry on it. And I kept like going back to it um, because we were just like waiting for the lady to like wrap stuff and things like that. And I almost completely missed this jewelry and I couldn't believe it, but she had quite a few pieces of Kirk's Folly jewelry on the table. And it took me a couple of times like going back to the table to really like notice it. Sometimes like things can be right in front of my face and my brain just isn't registering what I'm seeing because you know sometimes I get overwhelmed when I'm looking at stuff um, but I took all of her pieces of Kirk's Folly. Uh, Kirk's Folly is a very good brand. It's very like whimsical type of looking jewelry. So this first set is a pair of earrings that look like this. They're like little dangly star earrings. I'd say I paid about three to five dollars for these and I listed these for a buy it now of $39.99. There is more, I will get to it. Um, I'm just going in order <laughs> what's on my paper. Uh, I found this Dooney and Burke wallet at a yard sale. I paid $3 for this one. It's like a white pebbled leather. I think it's for a cell phone, but probably like an older cell phone because it's kind of small. I mean, a cell phone nowadays, I don't think it's gonna fit in there, but I don't know. I mean, there are people that still use smaller cell phones, so it's hard to say, but it's a nice leather wallet. I paid $3 for this and I listed it as a buy, no, I put it on auction <laughs> with a starting price of $29.99 because I didn't see any like it listed. At that same yard sale, I found this coach purse. It is a black signature shoulder bag. It has this like silver um, chain design and it says coach here on the little logo. Really nice, clean condition. I still like picking up um, coach bags, especially when they're inexpensive. Um, some of them can still sell. Some sell better than others. I just sold one um, just a couple days ago for a decent amount. This one here I paid $5 for and I listed it as a buy it now for $45. At that same sale, I also got this Dooney and Burke crossbody purse, um, signature print. It's got the little duck fob on it. I love this one, very classic, nice and clean. I paid $4 for this one and I listed it as a buy it now for $42. Hallelujah, right? I didn't say 99 cents. I listed it as an even number. Go me. <laughs> okay, and at the yard sale where I got the Kirk's Folly jewelry and stuff like that, she had a lot of Christopher Radko ornaments. Eric was looking some of them up. I, she pretty much had like 20 bucks on mostly all of them, uh, which is still a really fair price for Christopher Radko because those ornaments are pricey. Uh, but we only took two of them. Um, so the first one, let me get it out of here. They were all still wrapped up in their boxes. I mean, she took very, very good care of her items. So the first one looks like this. I'm just going to keep it in the plastic bag. But it still has the tag attached and all of that good stuff. So the Santa Claus head 
Um, like I said, we did pay $20 for it, and I listed it as a buy it now for $69.99. I was hoping she had some like Halloween ones, but she only had um, Christmas. And then this is the other one that we purchased from her. Uh, we also paid $20 for this one. And this one is a little, I know it's hard to see because they're in the plastic, but it's a um, snowman. So I'm just going to keep it in there because sometimes taking stuff out of the packaging and trying to put it back in like the way that you got it out, it's just, it's time consuming, <laughs> very time consuming. So I'll actually pop up a picture of that one so you can see it a little better since I didn't pull it out. Paid $20 for that one, and I listed it as a buy it now for $75. All right, so let's get back to some of the Kirk's Folly jewelry. This one was a really good piece. Um, this one here is a necklace, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So here's what it looks like. It's got this really pretty, um, like, angel, all these blingy stones absolutely beautiful this one here i'd say i paid maybe around eight dollars for i want to say i listed this as a buy it now for a hundred and twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so like i said some of these pieces are definitely a little more desirable than others all right the next kirk's folly piece um looks like this this is absolutely beautiful this is a brooch and it's called the fairy wishing pool it's so beautiful so nicely made gorgeous gorgeous pieces i think i've only ever found kirk's folly two other times before out in the wild and both pieces obviously um had sold so the the brooch i'd say five six dollars and i listed this as a buy it now for 79 dollars and 99 cents last kirk's folly piece was this one here and these are matching earrings to that necklace and these are really desirable um these here i'd say three to five dollars i paid for them and i listed these as a buy it now for a hundred and thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents crazy next item i'm gonna pop up actually already sold i got this at the same yard so i picked up the coach and the dooney um pieces this here was a pair of coach sunglasses and they came in a coach hard shell case i actually didn't even see these until i was walking away from the yard sale after paying for my purses i saw the coach sunglass case there and i was like ooh, and i was just expecting it to be empty but there were actually coach sunglasses inside i paid three dollars for them and those sold for a buy it now of 49 dollars and 99 cents I got this at a yard sale. Um, this is a newer Joanna Parker item. It is a Santa Claus face, little like, you can use this as a trinket dish or a spoon rest or what have you. I only paid 50 cents for it, so I decided to um, pick it up. And I listed this guy for a buy it now of $15.99. On yard sale, I purchased two of these Disney Hocus Pocus uh, spatulas. These are actually really nice, thick heavy spatulas um it has the sanderson sisters on it and it says i put a spell on you i paid a dollar for this i didn't see any that looked like this listed so i listed it as a buy it now for twelve dollars and 99 cents they only had two i bought two i'm probably keeping the other but if this one happens to sell i may just list the other one i really don't have much attachment to things as a reseller <laughs> There are some things I become attached to, but for the most part, I have no problem selling it. Uh, next thing, Eric actually picked this up at the flea market. Uh, it's a really nice uh, piece with these like ceramic um, seagulls on and this like natural driftwood. So it's really quite nice. I feel like there is a signature on the bottom, but I cannot read it. I have no idea. Um, what it says. I'm pretty sure he paid $4 for this and we listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Also at the ladies sale where I purchased the 
Christopher Radko and the Kirk's Folly, she had a bunch of blossom bucket pieces and I've been noticing kind of an uptick in sales of blossom bucket pieces. I do think that there is more of a larger following overseas for them, kind of like the Willie Ray Studio pieces. Um, so they're just like really cute um, resin type of little decor pieces. So she had a couple and I purchased um, what she had. This one spells out trick or treat. It's got like a little ghost and a witch and a little guy dressed like a pumpkin. It still had the tag attached. I paid $3 for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. Also had this one and this one says autumn, a time to harvest friendships. And again, it has a witch, a ghost, a little scarecrow, a cat and a pumpkin on it also still with the tag this one here i also paid three dollars for and also listed as a buy it now for 39 dollars and 99 cents and then the last blossom bucket that she had was this one that spelled out easter and the e's actually like a little cracked shell this one didn't have a tag but it is blossom bucket uh, one way to tell is on the back there's like a little b b there but a lot of their stuff you can kind of tell just by looking at it like they all have the same similar type of styling to it um that one the easter one i paid two dollars for and i listed that one as a buy it now for fifteen dollars and 99 cents also at her sale i picked up this uh halloween ornament. I actually have like a bunch of these <laughs> listed that look very similar to this. None in this exact um, look with the pumpkins, the crow, and the the star, but I do have other ones. <laughs> so I paid a dollar for the ornament and I listed it as a buy it now for $12.99. Found this at a yard sale, this amazing mushroom, like lucite mushroom sculpture it has three little frogs and like a mossy type of look to the base this is by a company called design gifts is what it says on the bottom mushrooms are hot absolutely on fire if you see anything with mushrooms on it just buy it right so i found this at the yard sale i paid i paid five dollars for this little mushroom sculpture these were selling for very good money. This already sold as a buy it now for $59.99. So if you ever see any of these lucite looking mushrooms, grab them. Also purchased this little, um, this isn't marked, but when I looked it up, other people had it as left in because it doesn't have its left in sticker anymore. But it's a little bisque sleeping kitty cat with these two little bluebirds that are also sleeping on her. I paid $1 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99. Also at the same sale, I found this left in piece. Again, this is like a bisque of a little lamb. It's a little trinket box, so it opens like that. And this one does still have its left in sticker on it. I paid $2 for the lamb, or maybe it was a dollar. I can't remember, it was a dollar or two. And I listed this as a buy it now for $15.99. I found the Santa Claus at a yard sale. This one is marked House of Hatton, 1996. He's got a little tree in his hand. He's like a, I don't know if that's wood or like a plasticky wood. I'm not sure. I like picking up any type of um, Christmas figure, Santa Clauses in particular. I have a hair in my mouth, excuse me. <laughs> I like picking up any Santa Claus figures that actually have signatures of some sort if they're inexpensive because sometimes those folk art type of pieces can sell really well. Um, so I went ahead and picked this one up. I paid $1 for him and I listed him for $39.99. Item did actually come from an auction. It is a little votive 
candle holder of a scarab um, type of beetle there. One day at the auction, there was a lot of like Egyptian type looking things. Uh, this is by a company called Summit Collection. I won it for a buck, so I just decided to take it and I listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. I got this vintage redware ashtray. Uh, this is like a smoking ashtray. So when you would stick your cigarette in there, um, the smoke would come out of his nostrils. So people do collect these things regardless, you know, if they smoke or not. Or not. So anyway, I paid 50 cents for this ashtray and I listed it as a buy it now for $25.99. These are actually pretty popular, um, more so the cat version. So here's the kitty cat. I mean, look at the face on that. It's so stinking cute. Love this. So this one here, again, I paid 50 cents for, and I also listed as a buy it now for $25.99. The cat will probably go before the dog. Um, I also took this wooden dolphin. I just kind of really liked it. He's like this carved really smooth wood and I liked the um, differences in the, the shades of the wood as well there's no makers marks or anything like that it's got some weight to it I don't know I just decided to pick it up I paid one dollar for it and I listed it as a buy it now for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents Eric <laughs> spotted this little set of Anna Lee sheep with like a little wooden fence for some reason eric thought he saw five dollars on the price tag sticker but he was wrong uh, when we went to pay it was actually twelve dollars for this set and he's thinking oh no i made like a huge mistake so we paid it obviously and when i went back to the truck i i looked it up and i saw someone had just like one little sheep listed for a fairly decent amount and i was like no i think you're good i think these are actually um desirable so like i said it comes with like the little wooden fence and then there are three different little annalee sheeps and these are from 1992 so they are older this would this would be so cute. Like These are so stinking cute. They're all like very similar, but just maybe a little bit different in, in size type of thing, but very, very cute. So he paid $12 for that set and I listed it as a buy it now for $59.99. I found a philosophy three in one this is in vanilla birthday cake. This is brand new, still sealed, a 16 fluid ounce bottle. I paid $1.50 for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $15.99. Here's another like Christmas piece that I picked up. This is a snowman. Um, he is holding a flag. He has that like primitive kind of grubby look to him but he is signed there is a signature on his bottom I feel like it says Terry Villaggio or something along those lines so I couldn't find anything when I looked up that name but still really cute people love the primitive styling so I decided to pick him up I paid a dollar for him and listed him for $19.99 all right <laughs> these next Salt and pepper shakers are these cute little pink anthropomorphic looking ceramic salt and pepper shakers. They do still have their stoppers on. We picked these up at a yard sale. We paid $1 for these salt and pepper shakers and they already sold for $21.50. Speaking of cat salt and pepper shakers, we also found these at a yard sale. These look like the Holt Howard cat salt and pepper shakers, but they're not Holt Howard. The one says Tilso on the back and the other one says something else, but they look but they look like they they definitely go together. Um, apparently, I guess at some point, <laughs> these would have made like a meowing sound. Um, I found these salt and pepper shakers. This is the second time now I've found them. Um, but the sound just doesn't work in them anymore. So I guess that's something that just happens over time. Uh, but they do still have their um, stoppers in them. 
we paid five dollars for these and i listed them as a buy it now for 49 dollars 99 Next, I have a set of four green. These are Bakelite bangles. Uh, these came from an auction at one point. I had won a bunch of Bakelite bangles and I'm finally getting them listed. I don't know what takes me so long sometimes, but I listed these on auction with a starting price of $39.99. This next item I'm gonna pop up because it's large and there's a lot of like little pieces to it and I'd have to get it all out of its plastic and foam blocking, just packing pieces. Uh, but this is a Jim Shore item. It's like a carved watermelon basket and then it comes with the separate fruits that you can put in the basket. Um, we paid $10 for that and I listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. Um, this piece also came from an auction this is a high glass uh, creamer. Absolutely gorgeous, like art deco kind of look to this. Love it. Unfortunately, there was just like the little creamer pitcher. There wasn't like a sugar bowl. Um, this here I have listed as a buy it now for $29.99. This came with some stuff. I wasn't even like meaning to, to win this, but I'm glad I did because it's still worth some money. This item also came from an auction. This was on a tray of some stuff that I won. Um, I think I did have to pay up for the tray though because obviously someone else knew what this was on the tray. But this is a Norcrest cat creamer and does still have its Norcrest sticker on. So this is a harder to find piece. Um, you can kind of tell like, this like kitschy anthropomorphic looking pieces are just very highly collectible. Uh, this Kramer I listed as a buy it now for $259.99 and pretty sure that's the cheapest one currently available that looked exactly like mine. There was one that I saw where the flowers were on the other side. So I don't know if that makes a difference to people, but that's just what I listed mine for. I got this Juicy Couture wristlet at a yard sale that still had the tag attached. Um, this is not vintage Juicy Couture. Vintage Juicy Couture is where the money pretty well is, but I didn't pay much for this, so I just decided to pick it up anyway since it still had its tag. Um, this here, I think I paid two dollars for and i listed it as a buy it now for nineteen dollars and 99 cents i listed the vintage mattel baby secrets doll um, i picked this up at a yard sale a while back for one dollar it still works i'll i'll play it once just to freak everyone out I don't even know what she said i don't believe it do you is what i'm thinking she said i'm not entirely sure these dolls can sell really really well especially if they work like i said i paid one dollar for this one and i have it listed as a buy it now for a hundred and fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents i found this cutie at a yard sale i don't know if he's like a maybe like was a carnival plushy prize i'm not entirely sure maybe he was handmade i really don't know but he's in nice clean condition and he is a rubber face plushy he's got the rubber face and the rubber ears and it feels like he's filled with some sort of thick material maybe sawdust i'm not entirely sure but obviously no tags on him but he is super clean considering his age he's in very good condition i paid eight dollars for the monkey and i have him listed as a buy it now for 49 dollars and 99 cents so i had gotten i was going through like a bin full of beauty items i like got a bag worth um i do have some things listed i don't have it all listed yet uh, but there were two makeup brushes in there by real techniques these are brand new pretty much everything in there was brand new um this one here is the real techniques electric love piece out powder brush everything in that tote was a quarter piece so i paid 25 cents for this and i listed it as a buy it now for 12 dollars 99 same way with this one this one is a real techniques limited edition cashmere dreams contour fan brush again paid a quarter 
listed. Buy it now, $12.99. There is another <laughs> Santa Claus that I had gotten at a yard sale. This I think we got at the church sale that we had gone to. This one is also signed on the side. Um, Towton, I want to say, is what it says. So it's like a carved resin Santa Claus. I'd say we paid maybe a dollar or so for him. And I have him listed as a buy it now for $19.99. Also got this Santa Claus ceramic music box. So when you wind him up, he turns on his base. There is a Made in Japan sticker on him. And he's got two little kids in his lap. Very, very cute piece. Um, this here came from a yard sale. I paid $1 for him and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. And then at another yard sale, I got more, I <laughs> found more of these um, needlepoint stockings. Uh, there's four of them here. I paid $2 a piece. I listed them all separately for a buy it now of $24.99 a piece. So I'll go over them. Uh, the first one looks like this with a red backing. These are in nice clean condition. This one looks like this with a green backing. Um, and they all have Santa Clauses on them. This one's kind of like a dark, dark red, like a burgundy almost. And then this one here, which has the blue backing. All right, my random thing I purchased for myself. Guys, guess what it is. Can you guess? If you guess the candle, you're right. <laughs> I got this candle. This is absolutely beautiful. This is a thick, heavy glass Slapkin candle. Um, paid $4 for this, and it's in the scent Oatmeal Cookie. This is by Homeworks by Harry, Harry Slatkin, and it is a three wick candle. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. And it's in a beautiful jar. Absolutely beautiful. So four bucks for that. All right, and then Eric and I went to a little kind of like antique market type thing um, just this past weekend. Eric likes to go and get a soft pretzel. We like to look around. I personally like getting a bag of kettle corn and a lemonade. So we went there and looked around. Never really expecting to find anything, but we found some stuff. Um, we got two things for ourselves and one thing to resell. So um, the things we got for ourselves, we got this old black cat um, lantern absolutely amazing we have an orange one similar to this but it's a reproduction this one is actually like a real old one it's not a reproduction so fell in love with this had to have it um this is gonna look great in our halloween decorating eric and i are very big into uh, collecting vintage Halloween and Christmas. Uh, Halloween being our favorite Christmas close second. Um, so this here we did pay $200 for, um, but we love it and it's going in our collection. So we're really happy about it. And then at the same stand, we found this old German Santa Claus candy container. Like everything this man has was in such nice condition considering its age. Um, so it is marked Germany there on the bottom. And this one here we paid $175 for. So again, this is going into our vintage Christmas collection. So I'm very happy with both of those purchases. And then randomly I found this. Eric spotted it first. Eric's so good at spotting things first, but I knew right away what it was. They call these shadow dancers, um, and they're kind of like lanterns as well. At one point, I found a piece of a Halloween one at a flea market. Um, I just kind of picked it up. I didn't know what it was at the time, but it did have a signature on it, and I was like, it was very inexpensive, so I was like, oh, I'm just going to buy this, and turned out to be fairly decent. Even though it wasn't complete, I still sold it. And then when I saw this one, I was like, oh my God, because it's huge. This is the biggest one I've ever seen before. And it's of a Santa Claus head. I paid 
$15 for this, which I think is an amazing deal. Uh, this is also signed. The maker on these is someone by the name of Edna Young. So typically when you see a signature, it'll just say Young, uh, but it is an Edna Young shadow dancer. So $15 for this. I haven't listed it yet, but I plan on listing it for like a hundred some dollars, probably closer to like 150, potentially 160 bucks. So these are actually pretty hard to find, especially in this large size. So that was a great score. So it was nice to find something for ourselves and also something to resell. So selling that lantern will at least pay for like our, our Santa Claus type of thing. Uh, but we had a lot of fun and Eric got his pretzel and I got my popcorn and lemonade so we were just giddy the rest of the day uh, but that is everything for this haul hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you thought was the coolest item in this haul and i will see you next time